we're deep into the Black Hills, headed to Wind Cave National Park. You can see remnants of forest fires, but you can also see the trees regenerating. Very scenic, very beautiful road, very windy. I've seen signs for size restrictions, so if you're pulling, for example, a long trailer, you might have a lot of trouble on some of these roads up here. But we have left Belle at the campsite and we're now just traveling in Beast with Mike and Liz and Ron. And we're off for a caving adventure today. And then we're going to try and do the wildlife loop in Custer State Park and hopefully see some bison and maybe some prairie dogs. This whole blank field that looks pretty blank is actually a prairie dog town. You can see the little mounds and sometimes you'll see a prairie dog sentinel just kind of poking its head up and sitting there watching to alert the rest of his friends to any danger. So we found the visitor center for Wind Cave National Park. And we're gonna come up here and claim our tickets. You have to get here 30 minutes before your tour or they will release your tickets. It's a pretty easy trek from the campground into Wind Cave. It took us about 30 minutes. So this is the Wind Cave National Park Visitor Center. There are exhibits downstairs. We can check out that in a little bit and different exhibits, gift shop, restrooms, and we're going to first claim our tickets. Uh, GoPro, start your yeah, party. Um, what time is that tour? 10.40. GoPro, stop recording. And do you remember the name? Should be Sandra Wood. Should be for adults. For seniors, I think. Yeah, classify us properly here. Well, we are. It is a place that encompasses two worlds. Two vastly different landscapes of uncompromising beauty. Oh. oh, man, I think I had this. Oh. Well, you had it on? I had it on. So here we're walking into the entrance. You can't hardly see. We are on the fairgrounds tour. There are probably about 450 steps in this cave tour, <laughs> according to the literature. And we're going up to all of them. We came down in the elevator 195 feet at the rate of 11 feet, 11 seconds. I'm not sure how many seconds. Pretty fast. We're walking up to the natural entrance to the Wind Cave. This is where they first found the entrance. And now they have an artificial entrance next to it so that you can go in for, to see the tour. Well, if anybody would like to, I can tell this story again. There is a Native, a Native American significance to Wind Cave, to this entranceway. Many folks hold this as a sacred and here we are, we're gonna have lunch 
with the prairie dogs on our way to Custer State Park. Let's cross maybe. <laughs> Looks like uh, nope. Might be crossy, I think. We'll see. Or he's just gonna walk down the middle of the road. road. No, I think we're crossing, uh, think the, road. crossing the road. Why did the buffalo cross the road? We got cabs in there too. This oh, some of their own there. Goodness. We're just going to stay whole there. Herd. Wow. Oh, look at those cute little calves. Yes, they're so cute. And the boys are rowdy. There's a lot of calves there. She'll call us. Maybe she'll bring us the. Because you just want to try like a flight of different beers, right? Yeah, that's yeah. All. all I want is just yeah, get yeah, a flight. Yeah. Unless nice there's something else you see. Yep, I'm going to try a flight of their. I want to make sure all four presidents are represented. Yeah, that's kind of where I was heading, was just yeah. getting one for each four presidents. What did you get? Okay, so what I got was Franklin Roosevelt, mm -hmm. Funklin Roosevelt, uh, Long Tom, because I'm an IPA kind of person, Black Hills Lager, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes, and Rail Splitter. I think that was four I got. And I went by flavors, not by presidents. Yeah, okay, yeah. The rail splitter is a, por a porter. Yep, dark. Yep, I'm not getting a flight. I'm getting one. Oh, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. Yeah, we get then one we, of them, but I really didn't like one. a lot of them. What do you want? I, well, it's not the presidents. It's Mal de Ojo. He's getting the Mexican lager. The Mexican lager. Okay. Cool. So here we are at the at the Mount Rushmore Brewing Company in Custer, South Dakota. Uh, Sandy is drinking water. Um, Ron has a Mexican ale. And Liz and Mike have ordered a flight of beers to eat with their to drink with their pretzels. And Mike is gonna show you what he thinks of the Funkin' Roosevelt. Funkin' D Roosevelt. <laughs> I really like the rail splitter. A little bit too much vinegar for me. Not quite his cup of tea. And Liz really likes rail splitter, which is the um, porter. 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 That's which age. is the Abe Lincoln one. Yeah. 